show you NetApp 3-way NDMP backup, which just got enhanced in the next upcoming version of Data Protector 1003. But before we go into configuration and some use cases, let me give you a little bit of uh, kind of context and uh, preparation. Uh, on the left hand side you see how we used uh, NDMP in the previous versions. So it is an, uh, an NDMP dedicated media agent doing the control communication with NetApp filers and uh, one or many of the filers have direct connection to a physical or virtual tape library. So this is all organized by uh, the data protector media agent but data flow is from the filers directly uh, to the backup device. On the right hand side you see the changes done in 1003. The NDMP media agent now becomes a third member of the NDMP uh, configuration. So it reads the data and uh, moves it on onto right now store one's appliances using Catalyst or file library. Now the main use case here would be situations where um, NetApp filers don't have local backup devices attached. Uh, maybe because there is no interface for it available or uh, it is a smaller configuration in a remote office or somewhere. Um, store ones, of course, is something that uh, many customers used. And um, if you don't have any appliance, uh, you can use the file library, which just needs some free space on some file system. So I have a large variety of options to choose from. Now let's move over to the configuration items. So from a data protector point of view, uh, devices are configured in two ways, depending on if you want to have a file library or a store once appliance used as a backup target. Uh, configuration is done in the same way. So you right click on devices, uh, you give it a certain name, um, and whatever you want to do from here is defined by the device type. You can pick from here, so it can be whatever backup to disk. Um, and using store one's uh, backup system in NDMP type over here, or you pick the file library device and as interface type, you pick file library NDMP. So those two are new uh, interface types showing up uh, from 10.03 onwards. And that's what you have to choose uh, if you want to configure the backup device for it. So we started off with a file library in the upper half. So file library would be the right uh, choice from here. And file library and DMP, that is the one that, have, um, that you have as an interface type. As clients, you can pick any client from your data protector cell that has an NDMP media agent installed. So it can be many of them. Um, and you just pick the one that is the appropriate for you uh, for whatever strategic or performance reasons. So that is down to your choice. Uh, on the next screen, you would kind of select uh, whatever the file library directory where the data is going into. And uh, you may want to pick whatever a number of writers so that you have parallel writing uh, going on into that device. So clicking next keep it the standard file uh, data type gives you an overview of where the configuration sits and how much capacity is currently used and you finish it off. So that will be your uh, new uh, whatever backup device that is a file library. So this is this is the one over here. Uh, for store ones it's kind of the same approach. Like I said, so you pick a name here and um, you go for backup to disk, you go for store one's uh, backup system and DMP here, and it gives you the same kind of uh, drop down choices like you also have for other systems. So you give it the deduplication system name, and if you have set up client ID and password, uh, you select it over here. Uh, for a gateway, you would then go away and pick a gateway system because that is also the one that is used for the uh, for the, for finishing up this configuration. So make a choice here. Make sure that you dealt with advanced options like if or if not to use fiber channel and fall back into IP. And also make sure that you have chosen the right block size. So 256 is kind of the minimum used here. Uh, best practices tell you that um, it is 512 or uh, 1K block size to be used here. So I leave it 
as standard for for this sake of this demo so usually you have a selection of existing stores um, so you can just take it away from here and use one of the existing ones or you create a new one and when you create a new one you can also make it an encrypted store uh, like uh, in the past so that is more or less like the same approach um, for a more sophisticated store once devices like the 6600 series you also have uh, filters for federation and encryption depending on how large your setup is this becomes very handy if a lot of devices would show up here so filtering is a kind of cool thing to do so you finish off uh, with uh, a selection of the store and you save as so you have a couple of quota settings uh, that you can choose from. So it'll give you early warnings um, if you need to, and it gives you kind of the summary at the end. So that will be your uh, store once NDMP device. Um, so now from a backup configuration point of view, uh, it works the same way as before. So you pick your um, uh, NetApp filer system that you imported first. Uh, you may want to go for one or many uh, mount points that you want to back up from and you send it to whatever backup device uh, you have just created. So I've already done that. Let me just uh, use this backup job and start so you can see the individual kind of things coming up. Now, Data Protector will of course uh, automatically assign the four streams coming from the filer to the four devices I have selected at my target. So it automatically uh, multi-streams to those devices. That will take a couple of seconds to finish. So here you have your uh, session completed message, which is more or less like the same way as NDMP backups went before. Um, so there is no big surprise over here. And also for restores, you have the same kind of options available. So if uh, you restore from those file systems you just go for those mount points and in so those mount points you have a certain selection of individual files or folders depending on what you backed up just keep in mind that only dump uh, type backups um, offer you a file system catalogs to restore files from uh, where uh, snap mirror to tape is just a snapshot backup which is just only moving the snapshot to uh, a backup location in one big chunk um, and you only have uh, the volume name as an uh, item that you can restore from that's the only thing you need to remember here anyway so this is finishing off this demo this is a, a nice new addition to data protector so uh, you can use it in uh, environments where backup devices are concentrated on certain media servers in different locations uh, and it offers you the same kind of approach as before, so no training needed, very easy and lightweight to configure. So thank you for listening and watching. Bye-bye um, and have a nice day.